Hi, this is Roland, Cisco Systems Switzerland. Um, I would like to give you a brief demo into Cisco's CVI into Microsoft Teams. The purpose why I'm doing like a other demo is because I, I want to record it mainly for the uh, with screenshots so you can actually tell the difference between the Microsoft Teams client and the video integration and what the quality looks like exactly. So uh, this is going to be a demo with two video endpoints joining from the outside world into the uh, Microsoft Teams world and one, two, three Microsoft Teams clients joining directly. So let's get started. Um, I already kind of joined with various devices. I'm just they're just waiting to be let in. I'll join the Microsoft Teams meeting from the client. I'll go unmute and chose the right camera. I took a proper webcam just to make sure the camera quality is best uh, as it could be from a desktop client. I have my I see that my speakers are muted, so I don't hear anybody. That's an important notice, I would say. I can go ahead and view who is waiting in the lobby. I can see that my family laptop is waiting in the lobby. I let this guy in. I'll see that my video endpoint of my iPad is waiting in the lobby as well. I let that turn too. I have to make sure that this one that the camera is actually turned on and that it is muted and I'll let my video endpoint join now as well. So there you go. So I should have four participants in the call with video best possible. Okay, good, very good. So they're all joined and we can see the iPad on this end with the Microsoft Teams client. We can see the host, which is a Mac book with Microsoft Teams client on it. We can see the Cisco video endpoint back there. We have our family laptop here and the Cisco video endpoint, uh, desktop video endpoint over here as well. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the join process. Next thing I want to show was the views we have on the video endpoint. So the first thing would be the participants list. So we can see that we see all the participants starting from the video endpoint itself, which is joining the meeting, from the family laptop, the Microsoft Teams host, which is only the name, then the home DX, which is the desktop video endpoint, and the iPad. We can see also on the uh, screen of the video endpoint that all these participants are also named and the same thing is true on the Microsoft Teams end. So we see the naming of the various uh, participants there. Um, next will be the views we have. So we can see on the uh, video endpoint we have at the moment the active speaker view which the film strip is like leaning into the active speaker itself. From any zip which is the video endpoint, you can go through the menu of the various options with selecting DP, DTMF. So, single active speaker window to we go upwards through the menu. We have a, a main speaker large or small, and the other participants a little bit smaller. We have the equal view which I really enjoy and we have the active speaker view like fully with uh, a few speakers at the bottom only. This view can also be changed on the touch 10 in a graphical way so we can change the focus and we also can go back to the grid view or any other of the views. So that's also an important detail here. Next topic would be content sharing. So um, what I'll do now, I'll have my Apple TV 
connected to this video endpoint. Um, as I turn it on, I can preview the content of the um, TV on the screen. There we go. Um, select where it will start. Once I'm happy with what I see in the content, is uh, I go ahead and share the content in the call. So all the participants can now see a trailer of the latest Robin Hood movie. So the picture quality is quite quite good. I think it's a uh, reasonable quality. It's not as fluid as it could be, but it's quite uh, acceptable, I would say. So when I am sharing the content or also when I'm receiving it, we have two dedicated streams to do that. Also, again, in the view, I can go ahead and change my uh, view here so the content I'm receiving or sharing is not the majority of the screen, but it's a little bit smaller or actually the equal size as the video participants. And if I already know what is presented or I'm sharing the content myself, I can go one step further and say, okay, I want to minimize the content that's a good alternative as well then i can i get a small window somewhere on the screen only and the participants are all very well visible still as long as they don't as they don't cover anything else um when i'm not fully happy with what i see in the content channel in terms of smoothness of such a video i can basically go ahead and say okay stop content sharing. I um, don't let the video go through the content channel, but I would like to send this video through the video channel. I can then go ahead and swap my video camera to the uh, input of my, uh, or the Apple TV basically. I can start playing this video again and I can see that the video quality got a little less but at the same time the smoothness of the video is much better than it was before so that was it thank you very much for watching i'll quickly now close the call and uh, have everybody leaving the session uh, i hope to see you in the next quick demo or tutorial and i hope it was of help um, and looking forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.